Hey everybody, just wanted to show you a quick video. Uh, we've been working on a BFD this week doing some research and development that I can't really talk about. Uh, but either way, here's some pictures of the BFD underneath the hood. This thing hasn't flown in several years. It's been a test bed. Um, I built pigtails. Typically the BFDs took four of the 22,000 milliamp hour 6S batteries and I built pigtails to convert it over to run two 12S 50 volt 16,000 milliamp hour batteries that are used on the, the Watts Prism. And um, so check it out. We're going to fly this thing. Little walk around. This drone is absolutely huge. You definitely want to stay for the pictures at the end. But right now we're just basically starting up the motors and we're using that. Start them up, shut it down, to go over and check everything, make sure everything's good to go before we actually launch. Like I said, if you tip this aircraft over, it's $1,800 worth of damage just on the props. So. We want to make sure we take our time uh, before we have an incident, and that's the main thing that you want to do. So, all right, so we're firing it back up, and at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take off. Uh, it's gonna bring it up and do an operations check, make sure everything's operating, and then take it back down. Under thirty minutes, the, the biggest thing. Don't want to stay up too long. Just make sure everything's good. Go back to the nav link, check all the messages, make sure there's nothing abnormal popping up. Um, we were getting a couple of EKF magnetic variants just after firing the motors off, which is kind of common on these things. Big, big motors. It's a you know X8 platform. Uh, here I am. I'm taking control now, and uh, this is definitely the biggest drone I've ever flown. Uses 828 and a half inch props. So as you can see, if you look to the side right here. Uh, across the road, the vegetation means you don't have much of any room. That is all crop washed. So, absolutely amazing aircraft to fly. Weight with payload, right now it's a light load. And we're not running really any payload on it, so it's right around 40 pounds with the batteries. Uh, full payload, especially if you're running like a LiDAR unit. Uh, typically, a LiDAR unit with batteries and some of the equipment that we use. These things are going to run inwards of around you know, about 52 pounds, so just under the 55 pound maximum for part 107. So, very, very good. Time. As you can see here, I'm just taking my time getting used to the controls on this thing. Uh, very stable aircraft, really, really surprising. So, um, I'm not doing any invasive maneuvers, just slow and steady. And bring it back down to practice to land. Now, these things are quite difficult to land. The ground effect from landing is massive. So uh, I use a trick that I've kind of developed flying some of the larger aircraft. I come in kind of fast and then throttle up just before touchdown. And that makes a nice soft landing where you don't bounce it. Uh, the legs on these are part of the fiber. It's got four of them. It's pretty stable, but they will bounce if you have somewhat of a hard landing. You see, I'm going to get it kind of set up. I'm going to start coming down steady. And then I'm going to fall back up. Just getting some video of this thing flying around. We're running full experiments right now with our pay specialty payload. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you hit like the content, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content comes out. As you can see, this is an extremely large drone. Um, thanks for watching, guys.